Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about MSAT Achieve Math Test Algebra Chapter Number 5, which is System of Equations. So let's get started. System of Equations, which are also called it as a simultaneous equations. In general, two or more equations together, we call it as System of Equations. Those may be with the two unknowns or three unknowns. Generally, we write the System of Equation as like this a1x plus b1y equal to c1 so this is x and a2x plus b2y equal to c2 where a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are just numbers any constants when it comes about finding the solution to the system of equation straightforward use a calculator so if you have a calculator which is casio fx 991es or ES plus you can solve system of equations by this you have to press on the button mode then press 5 and 1 if a system of equation has two variables so you can press it as mode 5 2 if you have a system of equations with the three variables it depends on so if you have a calculator that is Casio FX 991 EX class with you have to press on the button menu Press on the equation, then choose the simultaneous with the uh, two unknowns. You'll be uh, like, you know, able to solve such questions. All right. So let's work on this example. In the system of equation below, what is the solution to the equation? Indirectly, they're telling us to find the value of x and y so that if you put two times that x plus three times y should be equal to 20 in this case that should be equal to 12 in this. So they are asking me what is the values of X and Y. And as I told, most of these can be solved just by using a calculator. Let me show you on the my simulator calculator how it's gonna be. Select the type, you have to press it on the mode. Mine is very easy to operate. It shows the which type of equations we are solving. It's basically a simulator. Select more, press on the mode and select the type of equation. I'm gonna solve uh, system of equations with two unknown so which is I'll be gonna go here it as solving system of equations with the two unknowns this is what we can go this one this type of screen opens on your calculator if you are operating put the values of x and y k fully in the same way like how we gonna do here coefficient of x is 2 press 2 equal then next number is 5 equal then 20 press on equal then next is 3 equal 6 equal 12 don't change any sign put it as it is once you press equal now you'll be getting the value of x which is negative 20 press it equal again to get the value of y so i'm getting the two values one value for x value of x is going to be negative 20 value of y is going to be 12 which option matches with this negative 20 and value of y is 12 so that is option b so let me tell you first always we represent x value then we represent for the y so x is negative 20 y is 12 that is the solution to the system of equations question number two is also be a system of equation but it is not in the standard form if you look at carefully it has 2x plus y square equal to 5 negative 3x plus 6y square equal to 0 so this is a system of equation, but not in the standard form of like a1x plus b1y equal to c1. So not to worry, even though like system of equation, they give you in a different way. As long we have a variables with the same power, maybe it is square, maybe cube or x may be squared, x may be cube, doesn't matter. As long variables in a system of equation with the same power, I'll be using a calculator in the same way. But at the end, I have to do some modification with the what values of x and y we are getting. In this case, x is a normal because uh, 2x plus y square equal to 5. Highest power of x is 1. And here is also a highest power of x is 1. Why we have a different, like I mean, highest power of y here is 2. So let me operate calculator in the same way as I told. As long we have a same power of variable, I still use a calculator in the same mode. So work it up and see what you get. Coefficient of x is going to be 2. Press equal. 
coefficient of y square nothing as written means number here is one so there is nothing meaning one is there press it as one equal and then five next coefficient of x is gonna be minus three then six then zero so x value is two y value is one what actually happening calculator showing us x value is two calculator showing us y value is one but if you look at to the given equation it is not y actually we are solving for y square after getting a value from the equation i have to assign that value is for y square not for y why because equation itself included y square whatever answer i am getting here it is for y square but in a while solving we are solving it as treating it as a y and how do we get rid of that y square then y square equal to 1 to get rid of a square we have to take a square root on either side square root of y square equal to plus or minus square root of 1 whenever you are taking a square root of a number you should put plus or minus and then you have to take a square root then square root of y square is y equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 itself so i got a two values for y one is gonna be positive one and another is negative one x value is always two so here i might have an answer which is x is two and y is gonna be one or x is two y is gonna be minus one choose which one is available and one more important thing if you read the question carefully you can see that the condition if y is greater than zero what does the y is greater than zero says whatever the value of y i'm gonna take that should be positive so when they say y value is supposed to be positive then i ignore this part this can't be the my answer so x equals to 2 y equals to 1 is your answer why we are avoiding that because question itself included the condition value of y to be positive greater than zero so y should be positive so i go with option x is 2 y is 1 which corresponds to option d and if they don't include this condition you can go with any one because of this we are avoiding the negative value of y and we are taking the positive one question number three is find a solution to the following system of equations you can see here they have given you system of equations x square plus y square equal to 7 x square minus y equal to 5 so in this case what should i do as x has the same power but the variable y has a different power whenever you get a such situation if it has the same power like x square plus y square equal to 7 x square minus y square equal to 5 i would have used the calculator in the same way what we did previously but here whenever there is a different power of variable in our case different power of y so try to eliminate the variable which has the same power and convert this equation into a variable which has a different power so what i'm trying to say here is as the value of x basically as the power of x is same try to eliminate x from this equation convert this entire equation only in terms of y so how do we eliminate either you use a substitution or you use the elimination so in either case you have to eliminate term uh, x from that basically x square let me write down x square plus y square equal to 7 x square minus y equal to 5 either i can go with a substitution or i can go with the elimination let me better simplify it in this way so change the sign of the second term eliminate basically i'm trying to cancel the term x as long the same term with the same sign you have to subtract subtract basically change the sign of the second term positive turns to negative negative turns to positive or positive turns to negative here so after changing the sign when you add it x square minus x square get cancelled then it becomes y square this becomes plus y equal to 7 minus 5 which is 2 even though you go for substitution substituting x square as y plus 5 still you get the same answer you know there won't be any change i'll show you in the either way see if you if you make this equation let's take 
uh, x square equal to y plus 5 and if you substitute for it x square as here what do you get still you're gonna get the same uh, answer like you know y plus 5 plus y square equal to 7 and when you take this 5 to the other side it becomes y square plus y equal to 2 you know I got the same thing so if you look at to this which type it is it is a quadratic equation of the type ax square plus bx plus c but in this i have to take this two to the other side to make into the standard form of quadratic equation so finally your equation becomes y square plus y minus 2 equal to 0 use a calculator how do we operate calculator in a quadratic equation mode 5 3 or please learn how to solve quadratic equation by using your calculator. So let me go with this. I'm going to go with this type mode. I'm going to select the type here. Ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. Use the value. Coefficient of y square here is 1. Coefficient of y. Coefficient meaning the number in front. Number in front of y is 1. Nothing is there means 1 is there and then negative 2 set it equal to 0 one value for y we are solving for y don't say calculator is giving me for x so one value for y is negative 2 press it equal another value for y is gonna be 1 so y equal to a negative 2 and y equal to 1 which option involves these values mostly in exam any one of the value will be available so if you look at to the option carefully y is equals to negative 1 is available there is no value of y is equals to 1 so ignore this part i go with option a this is how finding the solution to the system of equations with different powers question number four here is a word problem which involves a system of equations it says a food truck sells salads for 6.5 dollar each and drinks for two dollars each the food trucks revenue from selling a total of 209 salads and drink in one day was 836.50 dollars now question asking us how many salads were sold that day question is about how many salads were sold on that day whenever they ask you how many salads were sold take them as a variable so if i say x represents the salad or you can also use it as a s doesn't matter and y represents the drink they say a food company sells salad for 6.5 dollar each and the drink for two dollar each the food trucks revenue from selling total 109 salad and drink is on one day is 836.50 how many salads were sold let's make out equations based on the given data on that day they sold total 109 salads and drinks so total number of salads plus total number of drinks together what they sold is gonna be 109 that is sorry 209 so they sold it as 209 and what is the revenue they got each sol salad they sold for 6.5 dollar and if they sold x number of sol uh, salads what revenue they got from it 6.5 times x plus each drink sold for two dollar and what is the revenue from only drinks two times y because they sold y number of drinks and each cost two dollar so the total revenue from the salads and drink with their cost is going to be 836.50. If you look at it, it is a system of equations with two variables. X is representing salad and question asking me how many salads sold on that day. Let's take help of calculator. I just use a calculator in the same way like what we did previously. Mode go with the system of equations with two variables then you'll be getting it as solve system with two unknowns it will just put the coefficient of x is 1 y is 1 equal to 209 and here 6.5 2 equal to 
36.50 i'm putting that equation as it is after that just check it up x value is 99 that is number of salads sold is 99 number of drinks sold are 110 so x is gonna be 99 and y is gonna be 110 so food company sold on that day 99 salads that's what the question they are asking to us answer to this question option c Question number five here is, if line one and line two are parallel lines, how is the system of equations classified? So line one and line two are parallel. Let me tell you, when the two lines are parallel, no matter how long you extend on either side, they're never gonna meet each other. So when they're never gonna meet, meet each other, we say the relation between those two lines as inconsistent. So we go with option C here. Now, what is the situation of consistent independent and consistent dependent means consistent independent are the two lines which are intersecting each other at some point in the x y plane. If the two line crosses each other and this is which at the one point they meet that is called that relation is called consistent independent and consistent dependent is the situation where the two line touching every moment to each other so basically two overlapping lines i can say the two lines which falls on each other that condition we call it as consistent dependent in exam they show you the graph of the system of equation for the line they ask you how they are related so these are the three possible situations what i can talk about example six here is find solution to the system of equations if you look at here this is a system of equations with three variables. You can also expect system of equation with two or three variables. As we have a calculator to use, straightforward, use a calculator and just put the numbers with X, Y and Z in a calculator. To operate system of equations, as I told, we have to use mode 5, 2 or you have to select the system of equations with three variables. Let's use it up press mode i have to go to the type system of equations with three variables so which is yeah i'll be selecting this this is how the screen of a calculator opens put the value of x y z carefully including their sign so i'll be doing it as three equal negative two e equal then five equal negative 17 then next is 2, 4, negative 3, then 29, next is 5, negative 6, negative 7, and 7. I think I put that all the values carefully and correct. Next, when you press equal, you get answer for x. The x is 2. Press equal again, you get Y value and press equal, you get it as Z value. So X is 2, Y is 4, Z is negative 3. So I can say 2, 4, minus 3. These are the possible type of questions what can be asked on the MSAT based on system of equations. So that's it for today. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't click on the bell icon, so please do click so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified and also share to your friends and the classmates so that they can also get benefited of it. So if you have not gone through the, my previous videos, like I have created uh, up to chapter number four, follow the link given in the description box below and you can watch those as well. Thank you so much. See you soon.